drive in there. Yeah, I don't know the way. Can you tell me which way we go? The Great Laxey Mine Railway! Stick with me, I will take you to see the railway, but first, we're going to have a look at this. The Lady Evelyn. As I arrived at the Great Laxey Mine Railway, this water wheel caught my eye. Oh wow, look! There's another wheel! It's much smaller than the Great Laxey wheel, um, but I wanted to go and see it anyway, because it's so pretty. So this is the washing floor. So they used to wash the, the ore, yeah? An ore is a chunk of metal that they get from the ground, but it would be covered in dirt. So yes, as I just explained to the kids, this is the washing floor. It's just underneath the Great Laxey Mines Railway, which is just above us here. The whole point of the rail was to transport the raw ore down here to the washing floor, where it would be washed and then sent down to port by another little train. I won't go into the history of the railway now, because you'll see it later in the video. I promise you I will take you to see the railway in a second. But before I do, I'm going to go and check out this water wheel. Dotted around the site is these information panels with information about everything, about the process of the washing, right down to the water wheel itself. The placement of that bin really annoys me. Moving on. So this is the second water wheel in Laxey and it's the Lady Evelyn and it was reconstructed in 2006. It's not moving today, but there's scaffolding up top, so I assume they're repairing it. And then up over there, is the Great Laxey Mines Railway. Let me swim you in. There. And it goes through a tunnel right there. Um, I couldn't go all the way to the end because of some broken culverts. Which is a shame, but it might. Promised you I'd take you to see the train, didn't I? Unfortunately, during our visit, there was a broken culvert and they're not operating the full length of the line. Because of the short distance, they can't use the steam trains. So we had this lovely little diesel electric thing. The electric one was called Wasp, while the steam ones are called Bee and Ant. Now I reckon there might be a theme going on here. The tunnel that you see here is the only true railway tunnel on the island. Normally, about this time, I'd be telling you some history about the railway, but I'm not going to do that this time, because our guide in the red here is so fantastic, he will tell you everything you need to know. You just have to bear with me a second. I'm going to leave you for a bit so you can hear some authentic railway sounds. is it now oh, no. not through our choice oh. so the, the culvert so the, the government just to show willing have dumped a big digger there yeah. so we've raised our expectation that something was going to happen mm. the diggers still there still in very good condition because it's not used <laughs> um, and we don't know how long it's going to be because our, our big if you if you are local you know in, at Hopton at Halloween we run some yeah. special trains and it's really big for us, not because of the enjoyment that it gives us and everybody else, hopefully, but it's actually quite a big money spinner for us because yeah. we're all run by volunteers here. We all give up our Saturdays uh, to help out, and we all like a nice team. We're all a lot of fun. We all like each other, well, apart from Andrew over there, but it, we all like each other. We all, yeah, I feel sorry for him. He likes that. He likes that. No, but we all have a good time here, and we all trying to do our little bit for the for the railway. So it's a bit frustrating. We can't go to the end. Well, we would have gone another few hundred meters down there to the outside the mine adit. The mine adit is the lowest level that you can access the mine. So if you've been up to um, the, the Laxey Wheel, for example, you can go in the mine there only about 20 yards, but it's part of the same mine, just a higher level. Mm. 
and so the laxy wheel would have been working away and pumping the water out at the same level these trains were being going in so it's quite a remarkable feat of engineering except of course you had the ladders for the miners in the early stages and they brought the zinc and lead up in a bucket and a rope later on the laxy wheel was also used through mechanical lift and it helped bring the ore and the miners up and down so that was much later on but 1929, the bottom just fell out of the market. It's a huge operation to keep going. So they just closed it down, scrapped everything. That's why you don't see any of the trucks anymore, any of the original engines. And all the dead, so everything they dug out of the mine that they didn't want was all piled up here. And in fact, the tunnel would have gone up to the beginning of those trees up there. And all the dead would have been piled up over the top of the, the tunnel here, huge amount, maybe 50 feet high. So when the mine closed, it was just there. And so when it came 1938-1939, which do you know what happened around then? It's very significant in the world. So when World War II started, we, we had some military, they were military training fields at the north of the island. So they took all the deads, all the stone and rock and things, up to the north to, to build the, uh, the runways. So after that was all gone, we, then they built these houses here. Now, the lovely terraces at the back, which are really traditional miners' terraces, two up, two down, really lovely um, houses. It's called Dunwell Terrace, but it was nicknamed Ham and Egg Ham Terrace. And egg, yeah. Because back in the day, I mean, even now, the Lexi wheel is still the largest operating water wheel. So even back in the day, it brought a lot of uh, visitors. So some of the lucky miners that lived there, um, they would make they would make ham and eggs, traditionally ham and eggs for the visitors and the miners. And so it's, the name has stuck to it. In fact, some of the houses actually have the plaque that says ham and egg terrace on there. <laughs> so the, the ore would have been brought down this track. Of course, in 2004, um, when they started to try and rebuild it, trying to bring it back to its former glory, um, there was no track, everything was dug up. And then the tunnel was just, nobody knew if there was a tunnel at this end. They knew there was an electric generator which was put at the far end, but they didn't know about the tunnel at this end because it was just mound over like this. So to find it, the, uh, the uh, creative volunteers made some smoke and they had a fan behind it and they blew the smoke through the tunnel. And if it started to come out at this end, they think, oh yeah, we can get through. So they found bits of smoke come out. You know, imagine it was just like this, just, just mounds yeah. of stuff. Oh. And they found a bit of smoke, they said, there, so they started to dig away. And eventually they, they discovered the tunnel again. Wow. Okay. So that was back in 2004. Oh. And since then they've been trying to improve it and help things. And when we go back, there's some books that some of the volunteers read as well. Because whilst I'm sounding like a history teacher, I'm actually a maths teacher. <laughs> um, it's actually a fascinating story. For a small island like ours to have something significant like that, it's very spectacular. Mm. Fascinating, yeah. <laughs> Now, there's no way we can recreate the conditions all those years gone by, but we're doing our little bit for it. So it's just candles and gunpowder in the early stages, which was extremely dangerous. And the life of the miner, I don't know what the lifespan was, but you know, if you got sick and you couldn't go to work, you didn't get paid. There was no social support or anything like that. So the, the pictures on the left, there's a whole variety of them. We try and dress up at the best of times. And when we get the steam engines out, it's great fun. I'm learning to drive the steam engines like being a kid again. They're the two replicas. So they're Ant and B, which are replicas of the original engines. This is actually a recent photograph that we had a photographic group come down. We do special events. So if you know, this is part of our hop today. Um, and we have a zombie village at the far end. Um, well, I don't know who they are, I think they're real zombies, they just turn up and they're just there on the day. And we have a lot of fun, that's a rather scary Easter bunny. I think that's more scary than the monsters. And this is us trying to do Bohemian Rhapsody, if you're a Queen fan. <laughs> At Christmas we had the uh, pantomime people here, the Ra Widow Twanky was a lot of work, yeah. that's what I'm telling you. And that's another one of our stunts we did. Oh, and we're off again. Massive shout out to the volunteers. They were absolutely wonderful, so friendly, very knowledgeable, very engaging. I would 
definitely recommend the trip here if you can. And as a bonus, you can also use your Go Explore cards to go on this railway. As it's all volunteer based, the railway operates every Saturday from Easter until the last weekend of September between 11 and half past four. Also, they operate on special events such as Halloween and Christmas. I think they were brought down here. What did they do with it? What did they do it? What did I tell you it was here? Wash. What do you, do you know what they would do with the, the zinc and lead? So they had all this ore down here. What do you think they did? Wash it. Well, they couldn't wash pile it up it. here. They wash washed it. it. They tipped it over these walls here, down yeah. onto what's called the washing floor, where yeah. lots of people be washing and sorting and putting on other carriages that would go down to the port for export. And if you see on these, if this person would get out of the way. <laughs> on the bottom right hand picture there, that's actually what was going on on the washing yeah. floor. We'll take a look so it's a yeah. huge operation. There's lots of mechanical things as well that took the stone back up. And then if so if you walk down to the washing floor, there's also a lot of plaques explaining what goes on there. So it's a huge operation. And there's a video on several books that are up there that some of our volunteers have, have written about the history of it. And this strange person standing here, who was one of the original miners. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm not that British at Yeah, just pay him in cash directly. <laughs> also, here's the little steam engines that would be mentioned. They are tiny, they're cute. Yeah, I don't know the way. Can you tell me which way we go? Bye-bye.